Hello guys, what's up the gaming news for the 28th of October 2022. So the reviews are in for Bayonetta 3 and it has reviewed quite favourably. Looking at the GameSpot and IGN reviews, they have said that the combat has evolved in a good way and maybe the story is not as strong as the previous games but overall it's a very good game. Now given the voice acting controversy which I reported on a few days ago, I personally won't be playing Bayonetta 3 because I don't want to play any games which are embroiled in controversy. So hopefully for anyone else who really is a fan of the Bayonetta series, you will have fun with the game. And the next big news for today is after the announcement of The Witcher remake, CD Projekt Red was asked about any information about The Witcher 3 next gen release on PlayStation 5 and Xbox series, to which they replied soon. And that seems to be the going line these days with a lot of developers. But if a game getting delayed means it's more polished when it comes out, good. And the last bit of news for today is the Shadow of Rose DLC and the Gold Edition on Resident Evil Village have released today. So you'll be able to play the original Resident Evil Village in third person mode and check out the end of the Winter's Family Saga as well in the DLC. So hopefully you'll have fun if you're going to play it. I will be playing it myself. Anyway guys, that's it for the gaming news for today. Thank you so much as always for all the new followers and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks guys, bye bye.